Hey guys, welcome out. Corey here with Golden Press Studio coming at you with another video. And today we are gonna be learning how to take any color that we could ever think of and turn it into a Pantone color. Pantones. Maybe your question is, what is a Pantone? I can give you a quick overview of it. Pantones, uh, they come from these, these little magical books. Pantone books. What a Pantone is, it's a standardized color system dedicated to print. When it comes to colors in our world, often we're always viewing them on screens. When we're making our designs and doing all that stuff, we're on a screen most of the time. The thing with screens is that your colors are never the exact same. You know, I can pull up a photograph or, or even a specific color on my phone and then look at it on my computer and that there's gonna be slight variations to it. And that's why Pantones were created, so that we could just have exact perfect color every time, no matter what we're doing. So whenever we're creating our designs and uh, printing those things, uh, we wanna be using Pantones. All that to say, Pantones are a universal color system when it comes to print. So today, we're gonna be showing you guys how to take maybe a uh, RGB color and switch it over to a Pantone color. So let's hop in Illustrator and let's do that. Bing, bang, boom. Here we are back in Illustrator, people. Oh, how we've missed good old Illustrator. So this is a savory and crispy design that I made a while back. It's this cool little Reaper guy. And as you can see, we got a few different colors going on here. We got this, this gold, we got this kind of purpley blue. Uh, we got even a little bit of like a pinkish hue and some green and obviously the black. So we're gonna go over here and, and click on that gold and you can see that, you know, that's the hex code. This is an RGB color. Um, but we want it to be a Pantone for when we screen print this design. I'm going to make a little box. I'm going to hit M on my keyboard and uh, shift and option at the same time to make this box appear. Oh wow. What a good looking box. It's that gold color. You, you've seen it before. And I'm just going to make a couple of these boxes real quick. So I'm going to hold Alt and shift and, and drag it over and, and make a couple boxes. These are going to be our color palettes that we're going with. So we got our gold one and uh, we'll click on that box. We'll hit I on our keyboard and just do the little color picker to get that purpley blue color. And we'll grab this one and hit I on our keyboard and we'll select where that, that pinky white color and one more for the green. We don't need to make one for the black because it's black and that's, you know, they're pretty standard color. We're gonna use black ink when we print that guy. So we made our little colors, they're looking great. I'm gonna highlight them real quick and make a little copy of them. And I just did that uh, just so we'll have a little safe copy of these colors that we'll be able to compare and contrast to. So we're gonna run over here to this panel right here on the right side, and it's our swatches panel. And you have all these colors up here, but I'm actually just gonna highlight all of them and trash can them because I don't want to get distracted by any of those things. We are going to go and we're going to highlight our little boxes of color that we've made. And we're going to go down here to the bottom of our swatch panel and click new color group, this little folder. And it's going to give us this little prompt. And uh, you want yours to just look like this, all these things selected. You can give it a name if you'd like, but I'm just going to leave it as color group one. Hit OK. And you notice in our swatch panel, we got all these little colors over here now. And they got this little dash or little edge to them. But now we're gonna click on that little folder and it's gonna kind of highlight all those colors. And we're gonna go down to this little, this little wheel down here. And we're gonna click on that. It's gonna bring up this page. And you know, it's got a couple different little menus. This one's kind of cool, it looks pretty. And we're gonna go over to this guy right here, this little, little boxes. Click on that, it's gonna pull up this menu. And we're gonna to go to color books and we are gonna go down to Pantone solid coated or solid uncoated. It depends on what you're printing with. Quick little thing is this is the solid coated Pantone book. And what coated means is that it is it has a kind of gloss finish to it. And so uh, that's things like magazines, you know, that, that's the kind of like shine that we're thinking about. And uh, when it comes to screen printing, Plastisol ink uh, is considered a, a coated uh, type of ink. It, when, you, when you print it, it has a bit of a shine to it. So if you're printing Plastisol, holy crap, 
Can you hear the sirens, people? We deal with this every day. Yeah, so if you're doing Plastisol, you're gonna wanna go with the uh, good old solid coated. It's got a little shine to it. If you're doing water-based ink, that's what we're talking about uncoated. Water-based, it, it, yeah, it's uncoated. It's uh, more of a matte finish, um, and that's what the coat and the uncoat represents. Hope that makes sense. So let's hop back in there. We're, we're gonna print this thing with water-based ink. So uh, let's go with the uncoated. We can click that. And you know, see it does, it changed it up a little bit, but we're just gonna hit okay. And bop, bam, boom. You notice up here, these, these little guys are now Pantone colors. They have a little dot next to them. And it actually even tells you the exact color that they are. So you can use your Pantone book and find that. And we can just compare and contrast uh, the similarities of these colors. And so we'll zoom in real close so we can see. And you can see that, you know, this was our original green. That's our RGB color. And this is our Pantone color. And I'd say, yeah, I'm cool with that. You know, this one's a little more green, but I, I'm, I like how that looks. This one looks great. This one also looks pretty good. I, I'm not, not unhappy with it either. And this one maybe could be a little more gold, um, but I think it, it's all right. And yeah, those are our are now Pantone colors, and to find their exact color code, you can either just hover over uh, these guys or you can just double click them. And up here, it's kind of hard to see, but it's like this grayed out color. That gold is now Pantone 720U. And uh, you'll use your Pantone book and find that. That little purpley blue color is 7667U. The U just stands for uncoated. Uh, then we have our kind of pinky white color. That one is 663U and our green color and uh, that's 7768U. And there we go. We have now converted our RGB colors into Pantone. But I want to leave you with one more thing. Because uh, screens, like we mentioned earlier, are all different. You know, we're looking at these colors right now on our screen and we're thinking, yeah, I think those look good, those can work, but we need to first check our Pantone book and make sure they are the exact color we're looking for because that's the point of the Pantone book. It's a standardized color system. So let's check out our colors. So here's our uncoated Pantone book. So let's look up our, uh, our green color. That one's a, a pretty cool color. And so that one, like we said, was 7768U. Uh, and uh, Pantone books, they have a little index in them, which is super helpful because we got a lot of colors to work with. And so I'm gonna pull up this index and look through it real quick. And uh, we're gonna find that color. So there it is, 7768U. And uh, that is on page 219. Your page number is just down here at the bottom. So cool, 219. Oh, I just ripped that one. 7768U, there we go. We found our color right there. And honestly, they did a pretty good match. I'm totally happy with that color green. So you just have to do that for the rest of your colors. Um, again, you need the Pantone book to do this um, because if you don't, sometimes you'll be on your computer and you'll choose a color and you'll be like, wow, yeah, I like how that looks. And then you maybe you're mixing ink or doing something like that and you've mixed up that ink and you're just like, wow, that is not the color that I thought it was. And, and we've seen that happen for ourselves at times where uh, we just didn't check the Pantone book because we just trusted whatever our computer told us. And I don't recommend doing that. Don't always trust the machines. And on the Pantone book, it has a couple different variations, different hues of that color. So maybe the one that the computer suggested, you're like, mm, I don't really like that color. And you can just, you know, make the, make the call for yourself of which one you like best. And there you go. That, that's, it's just that simple, people. If you've ever wondered your whole life, how do I turn this RGB hex code CMYK computer digital color, how do I, how do I change that into a Pantone? It's just that simple, just a couple clicks and a Pantone book, and uh, there you go. Now you have the exact Pantone that you want for your design for your t-shirts, for your art. So hopefully you guys learned something from this. Hopefully this was a helpful little tip. And uh, yeah, man, go mix up some Pantone colors, make some awesome art. 
Look forward to seeing that from you one day, you know, send it to them DMs. Slide into our DMs with your art. Oh, that'd be dope. We love you. We'll see you there. We'll see you in the air. And we'll arf on you later, little doggies. Arf!